Okay, spiritual discernment when choosing a mentor, part five. We're gonna wrap this up tonight with how to find your inner guru. We all have an inner, inner guru and it's just a matter of getting still and getting quiet enough to listen. And um, I said in my part one, I think, or part two video that, you know, there is a value in finding a mentor, especially when you're new on your awakening journey. So if that's you, you know, definitely go through all the steps that I've called out in this series to find the right person for you. Um, but if you've kind of like been there, done that, or you're a little bit further along your path and you're ready to like start connecting to your own inner guru and your higher self, then this is for you. And, you know, our my goal ultimately is to be completely sovereign. Like I'm pretty much done with having spiritual mentors um, because, you know, I've learned so much already um, and it's really up to us to be sovereign beings. We don't need to be led. We don't need to have leaders. We need to be sovereign and have high integrity and connect to our guides and connect to our higher selves and you know we're all one and we need to all get back and take care of each other in that way but still be sovereign and stand on your own two feet so anyways um when looking for your own inner guru i invite you to connect to your higher self through meditation connect to your angels ask your angels for signs ask them for messages in random places it could be a billboard or a magazine or a song or music um, that you love or something that comes on the radio randomly <clears throat> uh, spend time in nature and watch your emotions like really pay attention to what you're feeling when you feel triggered is it your inner child? Connect to your inner child. Ask yourself, what is it I want? What is it that I need right now to heal? What do I need to become better at? Maybe you need to journal or listen to high frequency music and get into the that space, that blissed out beautiful space so that you can hear those inner voices and you can hear your inner guru. Like, where are you on your journey? That's what you need to get to the bottom of. And then like you will start to hear your own inner guru. Um, so that's, you know, the nuts and bolts of it. But if you guys have questions, please definitely ask me in the comments and we can get into more detail. In my next video, I'm going to share a little bit more about my personal story and share more details with all of my past 